guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Rebecca Carrera and if you're new here, go and subscribe, like, share and comment and if you're returning, thank you so much for joining me for another video. So for today's video, I am back nearly, no it's not quite, it's about eight months later from the very first video that I ever filmed for my channel was a Pretty Little Thing haul and she is back. She is back with Okay, the bag was open, so that just was a little bit of a flop. Now, I think this is the first time since I started my channel that I'm doing just a normal Pretty Little Thing haul. I know I did a Pretty Little Thing times Molly May. I've done little five pound dresses from Pretty Little Thing, but this is the first time in a year that I'm just doing a standard Pretty Little Thing haul, and I'm so excited to show you guys what I picked up from Pretty Little Thing. As you guys know, I'm absolutely obsessed with Pretty Little Thing clothing. I think it's probably my favorite brand. I say this all the time, but it wouldn't be right if I didn't show you guys what I picked up from Pretty Little Thing. So, if you like this video, go smash the thumbs up button comment down below any other hauls that you'd like to see and let's just see what i've picked up from pretty little thing today can i just say can i just excuse the fact that there is a massive shadow behind me i'm not like a lighting whiz if anyone wants to comment down below how to fix this but i'm filming in the evening and i literally never film in the evening i usually film in natural lighting so there's a bit of a shadow and i don't really know how to fix that so just you can see like a bigger version of me i don't know I think I'm going to start with my favourite piece. Now, I'm really hoping that I don't speak too soon when I say this because I haven't tried any of these bits on. They literally came today. Um, I am so excited for this little dress. This is just like a plain bodycon ribbed dress. Um, I literally picked up a ribbed turtleneck dress from Pretty Little Thing recently. I just put it in one of my hauls, but it wasn't a Pretty Little Thing haul. And I wore it the other day for the first time and I absolutely fell in love with it. This is the Instagram that I posted the other day. Absolutely love the dress. So I thought I need to get myself another ribbed bodycon dress, but like... Black isn't really like my colour. I mean, I say that wearing a black hoodie, but it is a pretty little thing. But I'm actually dying for this little blue, pretty little thing, ribbed body dress. I absolutely love bodycon dresses. It has kind of like a lining. I think that's kind of on their sports ranges as well. So I just think that will give it a really, really nice fit. And I'm absolutely obsessed with this colour. I think ice blue is absolutely my colour at the moment. And I'm just really excited to try this on. I picked this up in a size six, oh no, a size small. So I'm really hoping this fits, but it should be fine. It's a bodycon dress, but this is honestly my favorite thing that I picked up from the haul. Hopefully not speaking too soon. Okay, so the first, oh, I'll step back a little bit. The first thing that I picked up is this little blue dress. Now this is a little bit on more on the bigger side than I would have liked. Like I kind of wanted it a little bit smaller, but this is a size small and you can't really get any smaller. I just feel like it would probably have to be like a, all the way down here to kind of stretch it out but that's not how it looked on the design it was like up here somewhere so there's just a lot of extra material now the actual dress itself is absolutely beautiful it is so figure hugging it is so cute and i just think this color is absolutely beautiful like i really love this color on like blonde hair like i just think it goes really really well now i am just a little bit disappointed in the extra material but again like if you're a bit taller than me then it would work perfectly so the next thing I picked up was this oversized jumper from Pretty Little Thing and it's just got the small Pretty Little Thing branding. Please excuse the lockdown nails. And um, it's just got a small Pretty Little Thing branding on the side which I just think is so subtle and so cute. I picked this up in a size six because it did say oversized and it has come in an oversized kind of size so I'm kind of happy about that. The only problem with this is I did think it was more of like a yellowy colour um, and it has matching shorts with it and I didn't pick up the matching shorts because they're kind of like these... Um, they kind of look a little bit like sports shorts and I'm not really into them. They're kind of like boys sports shorts, but I think that's becoming like a trend at the moment. Not a bit of me, I say I say that now, see me in six months time and I'll be wearing them. But right now I just picked up the jumper side of it. Now I did think this was gonna be more of a yellowy color and I pretty much have this color in every piece of clothing because it is my favorite color. Um, so I'm just not too sure if I need another oversized sand colored jumper. I did really think this was yellow. You could just hear uh, my mom cooking in the kitchen. So excuse the pots and pans, well done mum hoping that dinner is nice. Anyway, I do really like this. It does feel really, really soft. It does feel a little bit more on the thin side, but I'm not complaining because we are coming up to the spring summer kind of vibes and no one is going to be wearing thick jumpers. I hope not. But this with a little pair of black cycling shorts, I think is a bit of me for this summer. So next up we have the little sand oversized jumper. Now this feels to me a little bit more like a fitted jumper than an oversized jumper. Like if I wear it like that, it's definitely not hanging oversized. So maybe you need to kind of size up on this. I definitely should have picked up maybe a bigger size in this jumper. I do really like the color of this jumper. I do think it's super cute just with the little logo. I just would have liked this to kind of hang like a little bit bigger, but it is definitely really, really soft and really, really cozy. And I think, you know what, if you like the matching sock shorts, I think that would look really, really cute with this. I've just popped it on with black cycling shorts because this is how I would wear it out. But I do think the matching shorts could be kind of cute. Next up, we have a little bit of an out there piece. Like, like I'm really not 
out there in my clothing. I don't really go for anything kind of crazy, but I picked up this little shell bralette. I'm just gonna pop that there. It's like a little shell bralette. And you know why I picked this up was because I actually bought in my very first Pretty Little Thing haul. So go check that out. I mean, it was probably like eight months ago now. Anyway, I picked up some shell joggers because I saw a lot of people wearing shell joggers last summer and I was absolutely obsessed. Now this is a little shell bralette and I just think with those shell joggers from last year, this would look so cute as an outfit. Maybe for like a festival or kind of like that kind of vibes in the summer. Like I just think it could look so cute. Now I'm not the biggest chested girl in the world, so I'm not really sure sure whether this will look cute or whether I'm just kind of like visioning something that would look so much cuter on someone else but I'm kind of hoping for this one and I picked this up in a size six I'm kind of wishing that I picked this up in a size four now but I do think it could be okay it does have adjustable straps so that is going to really help out us smaller girls and um yeah I'm really excited for this the material is really really nice and I'm just hoping this looks as good as I envisioned it to be honest okay so next we have the little shell bralette now I am obsessed with this again I wouldn't pair it with these joggers I'd pair it with the little black shell joggers um definitely need a bit of a fake tan for this one and I did have to adjust the straps literally to the max because it's huge but I do really really like this now that it's fitted I really need to fake time because it's just embarrassing how pale I look on camera right now but I do really really like this top top I think for like a festival type event this would look so cute I'm actually obsessed with this little top I do think it's adorable so next up I picked up some joggers like it wouldn't be a haul without a pair of joggers right now I don't know anyone that isn't living in joggers right now I am obsessed with this khaki color I just think it is so nice and I cannot get over it and there was a matching t-shirt with this little thing and I had to stop myself I don't know why now looking at it I don't know why I stopped myself but I do have a lot of khaki t-shirts so I just felt like do I need another one that says pretty little thing on it probably not but I do love these little green khaki joggers that say just pretty little thing across the side they are so soft and I found this like ending to them really peculiar so I'm really waiting to see what they're going to look like on it's a, a really nice elasticated waist as well I feel like that will look really flattering and it's got a drawstring as well which is amazing on joggers I picked these up in a size 8 just because I'm slightly bigger on the bottom half than the top half and I'm really really excited to see what these will look like I think paired with like some white heels or white chunky trainers I think this could be such a vibe and if it is I'm gonna go buy the matching top so let's just hope so next I've paired them with the green khaki joggers. Now I absolutely love these joggers. I mean I've never had joggers that don't elasticate at the bottom and like them before but these actually really cutely hang so I'm not complaining at all. I love how high waisted they are. It sits super perfectly on the waist which is really really flattering and I'm just obsessed with the colour. I think these are so soft, so cute. Like I'm really really obsessed with this colour at the moment so just to have a pair of joggers in this colour I'm not complaining at all. I think the little pretty little thing logo again is not too much as well. I really really like this. I even think an outfit like this would be really really cute and the last thing that i picked up from pretty little thing i never really pick up socks nor do i show socks unless it's prime up socks but i just picked up these ankle pretty little thing socks and i would get them out the package do you know what let's just get them out i wasn't going to get them out but now i'm going to get them out that just shows how indecisive i am so they're just these pretty little thing socks and they just have this logo there on them and i just thought they're super cute i feel like everyone's just wearing kind of ankle socks with chunky trainers and i just think they're such a cute vibe so i thought you know what i'm a pretty little thing kind of girl let's just get them saying pretty little thing i know a lot of people get them saying nike but like i just feel like that's a very boy pair of socks and i just can't get my head around it so pretty little thing that one was for me so that is everything that I picked up from Pretty Little Thing. You cannot go wrong with Pretty Little Thing. They are literally such a cute little brand and I'm so happy that I picked up those things ready for the spring slash summer. I was so excited to film this haul. It has been so long since I've just done a plain Pretty Little Thing haul. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go smash that thumbs up button. Comment down below any videos you want to see and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye!